Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to write a script that will automate uh, your changing your background screen on your Windows computer, uh, depending on the temperature. Um, so if it's warm, we want it to set an image of something that's warm. And if it's cold, we want it to set an image of something that's cold. Um, so I will be using this API called Open Weather Map. Um, it's on openweathermap.org. Um, and the API that we're going to be using is called Current Weather Data. It's free. All you have to do is make an account on this website. And then the way you can get the key is just going by my API keys and then keys right here. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're gonna do though is in our project, we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call this, uh, we'll just call it wallpapers. This is where we're gonna store the actual, actual image for our wallpapers. And so what we want to do is grab, I'm gonna use this clip art image right here, but you can use whatever you would like. So we're just going to save this into the wallpapers folder. So we'll call this warm.jpg. And then we need one cold. So we'll do this burr right here. And we'll just call this cold.jpg and save it in the same uh, new folder. And then now that we have that, we need to create our function to actually change the wallpaper. So we'll do the wallpaper or change wallpaper. And then we want it to take a parameter, which is going to be our image name. So it would be either warm or cold. And what we need to do is actually get the path. So what we'll do is we'll do, um, we'll call this wallpaper path. And we'll do we will do I'm pretty sure if I just do slash wallpapers and then slash um, plus image plus dot jpg this will work let me see if that works Well, I guess we'll we'll see later. I'm pretty sure that will work um, as far as getting our path. So going to this wallpapers folder and getting the images. So now that we have our path, um, we are going to be using something called C types. Um, so we can kind of interact with Windows. Uh, we can interact by changing the background with this. Um, so the command's kind of weird. Um, or the uh, the method. Um, it's ctypes.winll.user32. That's system parameters info. And then we have to put 20 here. And then we have to put our wallpaper path and then finish it with zero. Now, um, this is what's actually going to change the background of our uh, Windows computer. So now that we have that, All we have to do is make the function to actually make the request to get the weather data. So we're going to go to the docs here. And we're going to click get weather by city name. Copy that. And then um, we'll create a function called get temp. And the parameter that this is gonna take is the city name. So um, that way we know what city we are looking for the temp. So we're gonna import something called requests and this is how you make a request uh, to an API, which is what we'll be doing here. So we're gonna define a variable called URL and it's gonna be this uh, right here on the docs. Um, and we're gonna make this an F string because we're gonna need to plug these in. City name, which is obviously going to be the uh, parameter city and then API key, which I have right here. Your key will be different. So we'll make a variable called key, paste that there, and then do key. And then another thing that we need to do is change this measurement to the way that we want it. Um, and I'm going to do imperial because I want this to be in, in Fahrenheit. So just right 
after city here, I'm just gonna do the and sign and then um, metric or units equals imperial. And that's all for that. Um, and now we need to actually get our uh, JSON data or get our data in JSON format or however we please. So we'll do response equals request.get and then our URL. So we're making a request to that uh, API URL. And then we'll do data equals response.json. And let's print our data. Let's just test this out and see what we're dealing with here. So we'll type in Buffalo. Yep, so we got our data. The request worked to the API. Um, and you can see it's 50 degrees here. Uh, which is actually pretty warm. It was just 30 degrees the other day. So I don't, I don't really know how that works. But the weather here is nuts. Anyways, so now we need to actually access this 50.47. 50, 50 so we're just going to use, um, we're going to access this data the way you would with a dictionary using keys, you know, how you normally would. Um, so we'll do, we'll make a variable called temp and we'll do data. And it looks like this is in main right here. So we'll type main. And then we want to get this key temp to get the value 50.47. Type in temp. So let's print temp. And let's see if we get that 50.47. So we'll do temp buffalo. And yeah, we got the 50.47. So now we need to just. Um, make the uh, functionality for it to change the decide if it should be a warm the warm picture or the cold picture so we'll just do if statement so we'll say if temp is less than 60 then we'll do change wallpaper and we'll type in cold and then we'll do if temp is greater than or equal to 60 we'll do change wallpaper and we'll do warm so if the temperature is less than 60, it's going to change our wallpaper to cold. And then if the temperature is greater than or equal to 60, it's going to change our wallpaper to that warm picture. And then we'll just print done. Um, but you know what? We're actually going to start this off with um, just an input. We'll do get city and we'll just do input and we'll do what is your city and then we'll do this get temp we'll call this get temp function so we'll, yeah we'll just put this down here and we'll call this get temp and we'll plug in get city and we'll do dot lower that, that way we don't have to worry about capitals or lowercase or whatever it may be um, and then it will change our background depending on the temperature so let's play this. Let's see if this works. I'll minimize that. So I'll type in uh, Buffalo. Oh. Okay, so we got a black screen. So I'm guessing we were not able to get into our file path. So what we'll do is we'll do OS dot get current directory plus slash wallpapers plus slash image um oh, we'll do plus image um, plus dot jpg let's see if that works buffalo oops so that didn't work either uh, let me see what the wallpaper path actually looks like. Put that out in console here. Oh, I see what happened here. So we want a space here. Or, yeah, we just want a slash here. Now plus. Let's see if that works. Yep. So as you can see, it is less than uh 60 degrees here and my background screen is now burr so it worked um it's just a cool way of just messing around um practicing coding just by just a random project like this is sometimes super fun 
Um, and, you know, practicing working with the API and um, working with file paths and whatnot. And there's a lot more you could probably do with this. I mean, you could probably make the schedule. Uh, well, not probably. You could use a scheduler to maybe schedule um, this method every, like, every day. And so then every day it just automatically will do this for you. Um, but yeah, just a fun project and I, I hope you're able to learn something and, uh, thanks for watching.